I am a meta human, and this is the meta customization system. So, what would you like me to be? An orc ready for battle, or a lawless bandit from the post apocalyptic wastelands? Anything is possible. The meta customization system adds real time in engine customization to your meta human. And the major features. Hi, guys. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at adding uh, meta humans to our, uh, to our project. Okay. So, um, if we click play, uh, what we're going to get is uh, uh, basically just uh, uh, well, you you get the default clothing. Um, you won't have any of uh, these clothes uh, which are showing up here. So uh, let me just get rid of them so that uh, my project looks the same as what yours will look like the first time you open it. Um, yeah, this is this is basically what you're going to get. Uh, just. Uh, uh, just a dummy with no clothing okay and uh you have some clothing options here and uh your safe slots down here and uh some facial customization options up here but they won't uh actually do anything okay uh, because one we don't have a meta human in the project and two uh we haven't set things up yet so right now we're looking at adding the meta humans uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the window button and we're going to open up Quixel Bridge. I'm going to choose local. Okay. And I'm going to browse to my local meta humans. Uh, I'm going to choose two meta humans here. I'll go for Hannah and I'll go for Brian. Let's export Brian. Uh, you can export any uh, tall, medium weight uh, male metahuman you want and any tall, medium weight female metahuman you want. Yours might not have the same names as mine. So uh, we will be referring to mine as Hannah and Brian. Uh, you'll probably refer to yours as something else. So uh, it's going to tell us we need to enable some plugins. I'm going to enable the plugin if requests there. And uh, I'll restart the editor, but before I do, um, I'm just going to open up the MetaHuman, at least one MetaHuman, to see if there's any other plugins that need to be enabled. So for now, I'm just getting those errors. So I'm going to click on Restart. Okay, and I will restart my editor. Okay, I do believe the MetaHuman is working correctly. Um, you might have to enable more plugins than I enabled uh, because some of them were enabled already. Uh, I'm going to dismiss any of these messages that we're getting over here. Okay, so the next step we need to take is we will need to click on this blueprint here. Okay, if you can't see anything here, just press G to reveal everything because they are, they are hidden in game. So click on this blueprint um, in the outliner. It's called BP Meta Styler. Okay, uh, click on Edit BP Meta Styler and just leave this open. Okay. Let's put it down there somewhere. With Hannah selected, um, under the details panel, okay, that's the details panel over here. Uh, check, uh, not really check, uh, but replace female meta human with Hannah, okay. So just use selected asset from content browser. This should be your female meta human, whatever you're calling it. Select it and click on that button there, okay. Use selected asset from constant browser and go to BP Meta Styler, the blueprint we opened. Uh, search MetaHuman here. And 
And uh, for female meta human, click on it and do the same thing. Let's click on you selected asset from content browser. Make sure it's still selected. Click there and go to Brian. Do the same thing with Brian. Select Brian or whichever male meta human you've chosen to work with. Remember, you have to work with this meta human throughout the rest of the process. So make sure it's the one you want to work with. Okay. Um, on male meta human in the uh, editor, uh, replace male meta human with the uh, Brian. Okay. And do the same thing in the in the BP meta styler. Choose male meta human and replace it with Brian. And close that. And uh, click on file, save all. And click on play. So now what we get is a meta human instead of uh, the dummy character. Uh, we have some functionality here for switching to male and female, but this isn't going to work correctly for now. Uh, if we click on male now, what will happen is a male meta human will pop up, but we're going to have two meta humans because uh, we haven't finished setting things up. Uh, we are only getting uh, we are only getting the new meta human without actually removing the old meta human. Okay, so um, you just have to exit by pressing escape and click on play again, and you'll get your meta human. Uh, the male meta human there. Okay. The same thing if you're switching back to the female, press escape and press play, you get the female. So um, in order to fix this, uh, we're going to have to complete the entire setup process. So um, let's go ahead and begin the process. I'll try and do this as quickly as we can. So I'm going to use a slightly different method from the one we used to apply body customization. Though we can use the same method, but uh, retargeting takes a long time and uh, the skeleton is very, the skeleton for the metahuman face is very complicated. It's got more than 800 bones. So uh, the process uh, will take much longer if we try to retarget it and set up like a retargeting asset. So what we're going to do is instead of uh, retargeting, we're going to replace our original skeleton, um, which is found in uh, Meta Human Customization System, Meta Face Tool, uh, Animations. Okay. Uh, we're going to replace this skeleton with the Meta Human Head Skeleton. Okay. It's the exact same skeleton, um, but uh, um, this one is not um, attached to our Meta Humans. It's uh, uh, just within this project. So um, we're not going to back up this time around because if we back out, back up, uh, our files are going to be mismatched. We won't even be able to use them. So what I would advise is make sure that uh, your original downloaded uh, project files for the meta customization system, just keep them safe. We'll use that as a backup if you ever need to uh, revert to the original uh, skeleton. But I don't really see any reason why you'd want to do that. Um, this is just the, the exactly the same as the meta human head skeleton. Okay. So um, we're not duplicating anything. Um, we're going to delete this, but before we do, we want to export these animations. Okay. Because once we delete this and replace it with the meta human face, um, these animations, uh, in my case, they were not compatible with the meta human face. They were acting all weird. So um, I found that uh, I have to delete, uh, export them, and then uh, replace the skeleton, and then re-import them, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all the animations before we touch the skeleton. Highlight all the animations, right-click on them, and uh, go to Asset Actions, and choose Bulk Export, okay? Um, you can pick a folder where you're going to do this bulk export. Any folder is fine. I have an animations folder that I that I keep in my documents, so I'm gonna use that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make a new folder, and I'm going to call it. I already have a folder called exported face animations. I'll just uh, call it face animations two in this place. So exported face animations 
two. Okay. You can make any folder anywhere you want. Um, so just select that folder and uh, click on export all. Um, just look at my settings and make sure yours match um, just in case of anything. There's nothing really special about the way I set it up. This should be just the default. Okay. So click on export all. And uh, I do believe all those animations are exporting now. Um, there's no there's no indicator, so we just have to uh, wait for it. There's no progress bar. Uh, I'll skip ahead. Okay, um, that didn't take very, very long. Um, all the animations are exported now. Uh, but I will say that uh, re-importing them will take a little bit longer, okay? Uh, it could take anything from, the, depending on your system uh, and also your engine version. Unreal Engine 5.4 is much faster, but uh, uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 could take up to 10 minutes. 5.4 maybe, uh, for me, it takes less than a minute, so they definitely improved there. So now choose your scale face. Okay. Um, in case you've moved away, that's in Meta Customization System, Meta Face Two Animations. So scale face, delete that. Okay. It's going to warn you that there's some assets that I use in this. There's plenty of assets using it. So um, under delete assets and update references to point at any asset of your choosing, click there, and type. Oh, it's this one here. But uh, in case you can't see it, you type face underscore R. And choose that, that skeleton. Okay. And click on replace references. Okay. Remember, keep your original files uh, safe in your vaults. There's a vault uh, when you download marketplace products that uh, keeps all your original files safe. So I advise that you don't do that, delete that, so uh, it probably will, will won't need it. Uh, you will need it for another project, so, okay. So uh, everything is fine here. You just say save selected, do not deselect anything. Save selected. Um, so I do believe we're going to have to re-import these animations. Uh, I'll just give it a test just in case uh, maybe it was a one-time occurrence that things weren't working correctly the first time I did this. Uh, we'll just give it a quick test to see if we really have to re-import. I believe we do. So under MetaHumans, uh, select Brian or Hannah, or actually both. Uh, find their heads. Okay. Um, I don't believe we can simply just... Uh, uh, anyway, just in case you have a lot more MetaHumans, let's just uh, open up the folders. I was going to search for their heads and just filter them out and choose them, but if you have a lot of metahumans, that might be a problem. So open up your female metahuman, open up the face folder, open up Hannah face mesh or whatever your metahumans code, type post. Um, we're going to come back to this. We're going to have to find it. Um, so before you do anything, just back up your metahumans head uh, in case of anything. Right click on your MetaHuman's head, duplicate it, and save it. Will make us make it easier uh, for us to find that that uh, original post process and MPP. Um, yeah, with your original head still open, click on uh, click on face post process, and choose an MPP face tool. Here, yeah. choose that. You'll get a weird face here, but just save it anyway. Uh, do the same with your male metahuman. Open a Brian face. A uh, Brian face over here. Type post. And choose the same thing, an MPP face tool. You'll get a weird face on the male as well. Let's save that. Now click on play, and let's see what's happening here. Okay, the face is falling. That means it's working. If I zoom in, um, you'll see there's something happening here, but it's really, really weird. Uh, ears, 
just weird. The nose, nose looks better than everything else. Uh, but uh, so this means we have to definitely have to uh, re-import uh, the animations, okay? Because this relies on additive animations uh, in order to uh, manipulate the, the the face of the character, okay? But uh, those animations are now uh, uh, anyway they don't work anymore. So go back to the meta customization system. Go to the meta face tool folder. Go to the animations folder. Highlight all the animations. Okay, they should be about eleven of them. Make sure there's eleven selected. Right click on them and uh, go to re-import with new source. Okay, re-import with new fo new source. Um, this should lead you uh, back to that folder where we exported the animations originally to. Mine was exported face animations too. So I'm going to open it, open it up. I'm going to go to the game folder, Meta Human Customization System, Meta Face Tool, Animations, and these should be in alphabetical order. If they are not, make sure they're in alphabetical order. Okay, let your arrow point up if you're in Windows. I don't know what that looks looks like on Mac. But uh, your first one should be anim face additive local space. Okay. Then you choose them one by one in this order. Okay. They'll appear in this order up here to tell you which one you're importing. If you can get confused about which one you're importing, just look at the name up here and make sure you match it. Uh, it would probably be a good idea that you look at it before you choose the file. Um, I've done this a thousand times, so I don't think I'll make any mistakes. But if you do make a mistake, um, you're going to get the wrong expression for the wrong... Um, uh, customization. Okay, for example, if you choose the nose over a mouth customization, then when you move the mouse, the mouth bar, your nose is the one that's going to be customized. So make sure you do everything correctly so we don't get that. Okay, so first one is anim, anim, anim face additive local space. That's this, it's the uh, first one. Okay, I double click on that, I'm good. I can just follow them in alphabetical order. If you're not uh, confident, uh, just look at the names and make sure you're matching them but I'm confident I'll do the right thing. So I'll just quickly select all of them. Make sure you're going in the right order. I just move one at a time. I'm on F5 right now, and the imported animation is F5 up here, so I know I'm doing the right thing. Keep on going. Again, can't stress how much you need to make sure you do this in the correct order. You must do it in the correct order. Okay. Once you've selected everything, um, your editor is going to freeze up for some time. Okay. If it's Unreal 5.4, it's about four times faster than 5.3. Uh, so this is going to take close to 10 minutes uh, to complete. Um, I've got a progress bar there. Going to take forever on 5.3. 10 minutes on my machine could be faster or slower than yours. Uh, so yours might take a little longer or a little less time. Uh, maybe you're on an SSD. Uh, that should speed things up for uh, quite a bit. I'll see you when this is done. Okay, so uh, we're done importing um, those files. Uh, I recommend you save them all and restart your editor because uh, it can be a memory intensive process, especially on Unreal Engine 5.4. I guess that's why it is uh, faster on that version. But anyway, uh, just uh, restart your editor uh, just to avoid any crashes because of running out of memory. Okay, so I, I do believe that's the entire process now. We should be finished. Um, I don't think... Oh, one more. Oh, there's one more stage. Uh, just click Yes to open in whatever assets were open. Uh, I'll click yes on my side so I can find them easily. Uh, Hannah face, Brian face. Okay, I'll leave, the, I'll leave those open. I'll, I'll click play. And uh, it's gonna load up. Okay, so the following face is still there, but I do believe that uh, our facial expressions, I mean, our facial um, customization is work, working uh, properly now. Okay. So um, we will have to fix this for this face just now. 
But uh, for now, I'm just going to zoom in to the face because this is caused by LODs. So if I zoom in, uh, that LOD should be deactivated. Okay, so uh, now I can see my facial customization is uh, actually um, working properly. I'm going to go to the eye shape and I'm going to adjust it. And as you can see, I can get some different eye shapes there. Okay. If I want to deactivate the eye shape, I can just click on the button there. If I want to maybe adjust the intensity of the eye shape, I can use the intensity uh, adjuster there. And I can reposition the eyes as well. Uh, up or down or horizontally. Um, yeah, so everything should be working correctly now. So, um, uh, yeah, we're going to go through them. Lips are customizable. Uh, this last layer needs some setting up. We have some orb teeth uh, going through there. And uh, in case we want to do some creature type uh, customization. Um, the same thing with the lips. You can adjust them. Um, face type we cannot change right now. We're going to have uh, to add some more metahumans. And uh, that will be done on a later stage. We'll look at that later on. Okay. So same for the female. Everything should be working fine. If I click on female here. Uh, female is going to load up, but like I said, we're not done setting up the female, uh, so I have to exit and play again. Um, the body customization we made before has translated across to the female, and no wonder it looks like that. Uh, just adjust her height so I can see her, and everything should be fine here as well. Um, this is for the actual eyebrows. We have to set it up later on can adjust the shape of the bra, uh, the eyes, same as before. Um, yeah, so uh, once we are done setting up all the customization, these will look very, very good. Uh, right now, they just look a little bit weird because we're not done with everything. But uh, this is basically how you can set up uh, uh, facial customization. There's just one last stage we need to go through. Um, can adjust the lip size. Yeah. Anyway, you get the point. You can you can customize everything now. Um, so let's just complete the, the last stage. Uh, on it, open up Anim BP Face Tool. Um, I do believe we backed up Hannah's face. So let's find uh, that backup and find the the face uh, blueprint. So click on. Find in Content Browser and open up HANA Face Mesh 1. If you don't know where that is, it's in the face folder of your MetaHumans uh, folder. So open up that backup that we made and search for Post. Face Post Process and MVP. Open that up and uh, search for it first. Open it up. And then your NMBP Face Tool. Okay, open that up. Uh, if you don't know where that is, um, it's found in Meta Customization System, Meta Face Tool, Animations, and in BP Face Tool. So uh, we're going to jump to the animation graph. Okay, but before we make any adjustments, we're going to have to copy one variable and add it here. So let's go to Face Post Process and in BP. Um, Avoid to copy body type index. Okay. So copy body type index from the original NMBP of your MetaHuman. Open up uh, NMBP Phase 2. Right click on variables, click on paste. Okay, so we've got that there. Now go back to the face post process NMBP. Open up the animation graph and do the same process we did when we were setting up the body. Everything in between input and uh, output, you highlight everything in between those two. Okay, make sure you've got the right stuff selected. Press Control C or right click and copy, and can close that down. And in the animation graph of Anim BP Face Tool, um, put the initial pose right next to the use cached pose. Uh, use cached pose initial pose. Make enough room in between. Right click and type paste. Or press Control V. Whatever you prefer. 
just put those in between and uh, connect initial pose to anim node rib logic and connect input pose to the head movement IK. And this will enable us to have uh, the head animations when uh, our body moves and uh, our when we are uh, using live link and such other things. Okay, so close that down, save it, and uh, we won't see any difference in here. But uh, now we're done uh, setting up the tools, uh, the face customization tools. Okay, so uh, exit that. We'll do one last thing. Open up Hannah and uh, and Brian uh, or whatever your your meta humans are called. Open up their blueprints, and let's just get rid of that falling face by uh, clicking on the LOD sync. Uh, if you can find that LOD sync, LOD sync should be somewhere around here. Okay, it's in the components, hello descent. Type, oh, don't type anything. Just set number of LODs to zero, forced LODs to zero. And uh, this will disable the LODs for your metahuman. Unfortunately, you cannot use facial animations with uh, LODs. Uh, even body animations sometimes will get uh, uh, distorted in the same way the face was falling. Uh, if you want to have LODs in your metahumans, you are going to have to create new LODs uh, you can open up the, the skeleton mesh and auto generate some new LODs. Um, the reason that the face is falling is because uh, some bones are being deleted on the lower detail LOD levels. Uh, it's still like that with Hannah. Uh, I guess I didn't modify Hannah. Let's go on LOD sync on Hannah, set it to zero and zero. Yeah, as I was saying, some do some bones get deleted from the face, which uh, makes the face drop when it's using the facial customization. Okay, so if you want, uh, as you can see now, it's okay since we've disabled the the LODs. Okay, so if you want to have LODs with your meta humans, maybe you're running a very big project. Um, I advise that uh, you create new LODs for your meta humans. Okay, um, and you turn off. You, you, not your turn off, but you create the LODs without any of the bones being deleted. You make sure all the bones are present in those LODs. Okay, so even though you reduce the poly count, uh, make sure all the bones are present so that uh, the facial customization works correctly. It will be the same thing for the body. If you have a big enough distance, uh, you have a problem uh, because of the LODs. So uh, just uh, have LODs which do not. Uh, change the number of bones in the skeleton meshes and uh, that will bring us to the end of uh, this tutorial thanks for watching in the next one we're going to uh, start to set up skin customization body customization uh, no sorry skin customization hair customization uh, all these props clothes and uh, eye colors hair colors um, we have some tattoos and all the rest of that stuff okay so I'll see you in the next video